Hey everyone, I want to show you guys my early work so you can see the progression that I have taken over the years. So my first novel was called La Chienne Nikita and I wrote about my dog. So I'm going to read the first paragraph. It's called La Chienne Nikita, the detective dog. Smodge 199 operated. Humans going to the wa giant water bowl, also known as the spa. Oh, yeah. My name is Nikita, also known as La Chienne Nikita, the detective dog. You can call me Nikita for short. Let's follow them to the giant water bowl. My mission is to spy on humans and get a boy dog. I am a girl, a mix of German Shepherd and Black Lab. Which is accurate. My dog was a mixture of German Shepherd and Black Lab. But I don't know if my dog was secretly trying to get a date, which is, you know, what I obviously assumed was at the forefront of her mind. So I, I'm guessing I, even then I was very interested in romances. Uh, this was my second attempt. I read Stranded by Ben Mickelson, and I think that really affected what I wanted to write. So I tried to write a novel about a girl who's helping dolphins. And my first line was, Life can really throw you curveballs, Tracy Easton thought. It seems like God has a ball and is obsessed with knocking me down with it. So I think I, uh, I, think I can see a lot of... Uh, I don't know. A, a similar style is really clear coming from this even. The snarkiness is here. The sense of humor is here. Um, my grammar certainly <laughs> has improved. Uh, a, a, lot, a lot of things have improved since I was in fifth grade. But I think it's um, not a terrible place to start. So this is where I really took off. Um, my mom made me the binder once I finished my book. Uh, a little bit of backstory. I had a terrible teacher my freshman year of high school, and she made my life a living hell. She told me that I had no friends, that nobody liked me, that she had talked about me with my other teachers and they didn't like me either, that I was immature, that I was irresponsible, and that I had no place on speech and debate. So um, I'm not exaggerating when I say that she really went out of her way to make my life a living hell. And it was incredibly hard for me to deal with. Bullying is always hard to deal with. I reported her. Nothing happened. I still kind of wish that I had pursued it. And I, I, I didn't, to be honest. I don't think I could have. Emotionally, I don't think I was prepared to handle that level of hatred. And uh, so, so I let it drop. But I had trouble processing what she had said to me and what she had done to me. And it wasn't just one conversation. It was a year's worth of hatred. So I decided to write a novel about a girl stuck on her high school speech and debate team with the coach who wants, well, who wants to destroy her life. <laughs> so, not autobiographical at all. I had a great time writing it, though. And there's a romance, and it's funny, and I, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And this is the book where I got my training wheels. When I wrote The End, it was the best feeling I have ever, ever experienced. I felt like my whole body was being squeezed so tightly I could barely breathe. But it was just like being squeezed with awesome. Like this overwhelming feeling of awesome and happiness. And that was when I knew that I wanted to do this professionally. So I'm really happy now that I went through all that crap because I wouldn't be where I am today without it. In fact, if I hadn't written this book, then I would never have gone to the Willamette Writers Conference. 
and I wouldn't have found out about the opportunity to write my autobiography, which is called Marnie. And if I hadn't written Marnie, then I really don't know if I would have written Awkward. And if I hadn't written Awkward, I never would have landed my literary agent, and I wouldn't have gotten a four-book deal, which includes the spin-off to Awkward, Decked with Holly, and uh, yeah, on June 25th, the real official sequel to Awkward, Invisible, will be out. So I, I would miss out on a lot. And I wouldn't have amazing friends that I have now because I, I, the writing community is fantastic and have really, really accepted me so warmly. It's been phenomenal. But I wouldn't have... I... I probably wouldn't even have met my best friends if I hadn't been tortured my freshman year of high school. Go figure. So, I guess it all worked out. Anyhow, I hope you like my trip down memory lane. Bye. Bye.